Say hello when you pop on. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Jinx. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let everybody pop on. Thank you for sharing. Wouldn't mind sharing to your personal page. Hey, Thana. Welcome. So glad you got your aprons, and I'm so glad you're happy with them. Yes, Happy New Year to you almost. You ready to kick this year to the curb? I am. <laughs> so ready to kick this year to the curb. I think I'm not the only one. I'll give everybody a chance to hop on before I show you what I'll be using today. I have a Dollar Tree wreath frame that I added my tinsel ties to. And I'm going with a neutral base. So glad to hear it. I love mine too. <laughs> They're awesome. And they stay pretty clean. Hey, Susan, welcome. Did you guys get um, notification? Or did you just notify me today? Hi, Cindy, welcome. Where are you watching from? I have 10 inch mesh here that I cut at 18 inches. We're going with a neutral wreath base. I'm just doing a simple ruffle. I'm not worried too much if the base shows through because by the time we get done with it, you're not even gonna see it. So we're good. Oh, cool, what's the weather like in West Virginia today? We just have like a dreary day. Oh, good, Susan. So to be notified, make sure you hit that little icon i think it's a bell and that way you'll be notified when i go live usually my days to go live are monday night at six eastern standard time and wednesdays at two but yesterday i got a little sidetracked and i wasn't quite ready and i was really hoping for my ribbon order to come in and it didn't yet so hopefully soon yeah, that's about what it is here, too. And Susan's from Pitts, near Pittsburgh, so I think everybody on the East Coast is kind of experiencing the same. Is Missy on? I didn't, hey, Missy! I think Missy goes live at 3 today, right? Or am I wrong? Because if that's the case... I'm trying to hustle, baby girl, so I can get done for you. Okay, we're going to be using one of my new signs today. Be my Valentine. A little Raggedy Ann. Oh, okay. And I'm using my newest blockhead. She matches the sign. And check this out. Oh, I got them coming. All right. So, remember I showed you on Monday night the tools I got for Christmas? Well, this was one of them. Okay, and this is why I wanted it. You just straddle your tinsel tie. Boom. No pushing, no, you know. Isn't that an awesome tool? So, tinsel tie is already attached. She is not in my shop yet, and neither is the sign, and neither is the ribbon. Because if you'll see, when we developed, when we uh, created this sign, the border was used to match the ribbon. I'm hoping by tomorrow to get all my new signs listed. I'm really trying I've um, I'm trying to organize get cleaned up after Christmas because we had a lot of custom orders so 
but she's going to go on there. So she's going to be for sale with the sign or without the sign, either way, along with the ribbon. So here are my choices for today. There's those two colors. And then there's these two. And this um, ribbon here, the black check with the red hearts, that's also going to be for sale in my shop. So, and yes, thank you. And make sure everybody says a little prayer for Peggy because she had to go to the hospital. And uh, we just want to make sure that she'll, she'll be okay. All right. So again, we're just doing simple ruffles. This is the first of my um, Raggedy Ann blockheads, so everything today was trial and error, so I will be adjusting her face color a little bit. Um, we fixed her bangs, so each one will kind of be like one of a kind. Thank you. And then we'll have the bunny ones coming up. Uh, trying to think what else ones. We have some gnomes coming up. So there's more. So I had to quick rush to get through Christmas and then start making my Valentine's, Easter, and St. Patrick's Day signs. So things have been hopping. I still don't have my room totally emptied of Christmas. So I have it emptied of Christmas ribbon, but that's as far as I got. Because I'm sure, as most of you saw, we have a new litter of puppies that were born on the 26th. So we had to do their tails yesterday, and that kind of upset Mama. She wasn't prepared for that. But it's a sanitary thing. I mean, they're dew claws. What am I saying? Any updates, Levon, on Peggy? I saw the one. hoping to get my room emptied out before Monday and rearrange this area so I have better I think you'll have a better view and I'll have a better chance of keeping it organized <laughs> that's the plan if you're if I miss a comment I do go back in the end, you used to let me put little pictures and stuff on there. It won't let me do that anymore. And I love doing that. Cindy, they are Yorkshire Terriers. One is traditional in color, and the other three are chocolate. They're all spoken for already. I don't know if you could do it, Levon, but could you share this to the Robin's Yorkie Nest page? Maybe some of my puppy parents will pop on. I've been breeding now since 2007. So I've been doing it a while. I now do all my own shots. The do calls. We do the biosensory program, which is just a way to stimulate the puppies early on 
so that all their nerve endings and etc. connect the way they're supposed to. They do it with canines. It, it um, makes for a stronger, healthier dog. So they get a lot of stimulation. I was going to say, I know I have one more in here. Do I? It's like a skipped one, but I'm not seeing where I did. Hmm. Well, I will find it. How likely is it that I have an extra piece in a roll? Not. <laughs> Probably should be wearing my mask. This is a a jute. Um, what is it called? It's it has it has some burlap running through it. And anytime you're using burlap, you really should wear some kind of mask. I'm just gonna go back and see if I got everybody here. I guess I did. Is it showing that I did? Well, that's weird. All right, we're going to start with our tails. Oh, this is another new sign I just came out with. So there's a Halloween welcome sign. Or, Valentine's. Jeez. All right, so we've got the red, and then we've got the black check with the little hearts. Hi, Willie. How are you? You ready to kick this year to the curb? Check out my little blockhead, Raggedy Ann. Isn't she adorable? This was the first one I made, so we're going to make some adjustments to it. Then I have this color and this color. This, I don't know if you've ever worked with this one before, but this is like a linen um, ribbon. It's really nice. Um, so that one will also be in my shop. Thank you. I am making a wreath, dear. Everybody say hi to Zornitza. She's over there in Bulgaria. Willie's on. Yvonne's on. Susan's on. You all know you. You all know Zornitza, my girl in Bulgaria. I think she turned out pretty good, Z. She'll be a work in progress. I'm still creating on her. So probably by the time I get her listed, it'll be about the time she's all the way I want her to be. So... And it was Yvonne's advice to go with a neutral base. And now I'm glad I did. Because I think a lot of people get hung up on matchy, matchy, match the mesh to the sign, match the mesh to the ribbon, you know. And it's like you want your ribbon to be the focal point. You want it to stand out. So I'm, I'm glad I took her advice. Thank you. Yeah, I just need to adjust her skin tone just a little bit. So she works better, I think, with the design. But hey, little tweak here, a little tweak there. 
here a tweak, there a tweak, everywhere a tweak, tweak. <laughs> and I showed them how I used my new staple gun, my cordless one. We done stapled on the back of her. I'm sorry, I I cannot grip a stapler, hold it down. I I can't. So I'm happy with the way that worked. I know, see? I was telling everybody it was your suggestion, and I am liking it too. And I had I had this one with the black, which really would make it look, would make it look classic. But I thought, you know what? This really goes well with the beige mesh. So I think that kind of did what I wanted it to do, with your help, of course. You want her, Susan? Susan wants a gal and a sign. I don't have the ribbon in yet, but it's coming. I love this ribbon. I love the linen. I mean, it it's a really sturdy ribbon. It's not like the satin ribbon that we all love to hate so much. <laughs> the satin ribbon just doesn't hold its shape. Yes, but okay, you got it, girlfriend. And then the next one coming out, which I hope to have by Monday, will be the bunny. Um, the bunny one. I think, I think I'm going to leave this where it is. But first, I think I'm going to leave that one blank. I just like to get a feel for where the, okay. See, I really want this to be closer to the bottom and not the top. I always double check where the weld is on my Dollar Tree frames because sometimes they're not sturdy enough. So I always try to put that at the bottom so I can put my hanger at the top. So I'm going to leave this one blank because I think that's where we're going to go with the bow. So let's jump over to here. Yeah, I found out the hard way. Yes, they can, Lily. There are glitter backgrounds out there like, um, okay, like for instance, my gnome one. I have a lot of help from a friend, Missy. <laughs> That's how we make them. This one, I actually had this red and white border and then I added pink over it like an overlay and it actually matches this ribbon here that will be available for sale with the sign so yeah glitter can be put in in the signs in fact okay in my gnome sign the glitter in the hearts that's on the ribbon is in there. Zornita helps me with that. Because that's not something I'm that good at. <laughs> I kind of stink at it. So she helps me with that. She's my designer. I do some myself, but Zornita helps me out a lot. She's taught me a lot, too. Well, you got to have the right software to do it. So that really helps. And for a miss part, you know, you can find... You can find just the backgrounds or just the borders yourself. Like, not all of it's made by Zornita or I. I also um, 
find a lot. There's a lot of sites out there that have free things. Um, if I can't find it, Zornitsa can help me make it. So, right, <laughs> I know. A lot of the stuff she makes by hand, she draws it, so it's not all out there. But she's my gal, my go-to. So I have a lot up here, and sometimes it's really hard for me to get it here. Now this one was totally made by me, um, and I found this background. And see, when you're making a sign, you're actually layering layers on top of each other. So I found this background, then I layered. So that makes it look like this is the frame. Good question, Susan. I'm so far behind. Ugh. But I've been pushing. I closed my store this week and made everybody text or message if they needed dog food because I'm just leaving it outside the door. So how did I end up one short? Ended up with extra mesh and then one short of, well, we'll just have to cut it. There's a lot to it. Um, it didn't land under here, did it? No. That is freaky. I just love Raggedy Ann. She's going to be in a lot of my stuff coming up. Um, spring, summer. Yes. I was just leaving that one space for the bow. But I had another I must have got myself turned around here. Here, no. Oh, here it is. I knew I had it. <sighs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> My butt's kicked. My butt is tired of 2020. All right, so the bow's going to go over here. So I think what I'm going to do is put her over here. Already used my new stapler, so let's let's anchor this girl. Isn't it cute how her her little pigtails come and curve around? I try to get realistic, as close to the sign as I possibly can. And also, she will come with three of these. Now, these were handmade by me also. So that matches the sign. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm loving this. you Terry welcome she's my new blockhead I'll tell you what's nice about this community everybody helps each other out and sometimes I can't totally see the design and some people are just so helpful and it's appreciated. All right. Now. Try 
trying to figure out where this is going to go. Maybe this will go and cover over where the bow was going to go. And then I'll put the bow here. And then we'll just do some, some stuff. All right. Now, I'm going to have to use my easy bow because I can't. <laughs> I don't know where I put my my uh, Bodabra. It's around here somewhere. So I also have um, some pearls if I want to put them on. I also have some. Eh, I'm not sure. I'm. I don't know. We'll see. I have some roses. I want to move this because I'm so afraid I'm going to shoot it got to get used to it. All right, so we're going to start out with our red. I'm going to do about a 12-inch tail. I'm going to twist. And I'm going to go out to the 6. 6-inch six loop. really appreciate y'all being here and if you can share I'd really appreciate it because we're not getting the help we used to get from Facebook they're actually limiting some of our posts so it's not getting out there 12 inch tail again. Now I'm going to start on this side because I'm going opposite of what I'm doing on this side. Okay, Z. I'm going to go just a little bit shorter than that one. So I'm just pinching, pushing down, and twisting. And then when, it, when in doubt, you can just pull them up and make sure they match. What? She's home already? Oh, that is awesome. So she was just dehydrated then, hopefully. Oh my gosh. She pops on here. I'm going to tell her she gave us quite a scare. All right, now. I'm trying to decide whether I want to add... Hmm. Well... I wasn't sure if I wanted to go ahead and add this white and pink in there too. Why not? So we started on that side, so we're going to start on this side. Oh! She's not supposed to do that. She's supposed to stay there and get better. Peggy. I just like the way this pops against the black and white. And we're going to add this one. Uh, yeah. Now, because this is kind of directional, I'm going to be okay with my loops, but I may not be with my tail. So if I'm not with my tail, yep, I'm not. All right, so I'm going to cut it a little short, like right here. And then I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to sandwich this in here. 
so my tail is going in the right direction. I also like this too. No, nope. yeah, stick with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. a little bit smaller. I'm actually just doing three loops and two tails for each layer. <coughs> Excuse me. I can feel that mesh going up my nose. There we go. Now, did I put it on here? I did. So, I'm thinking of adding just one loop of this. Now remember, I shared this the last time, but I told you this ribbon really frays. So what we have to do is glue the edge and fold it over on itself so it doesn't fray. <coughs> Excuse me. That keeps it from fraying. Or if you had that stuff that's called fray check, you can get that at Joann's. Um, if you have any loose threads on a garment or ribbon, you just glue the end. You just run over it with that and it will seal it. I guess that's all right. Now, I might go ahead and use a little of this to tie it so you do not see my um, tinsel tie that I'm going to use to attach the bow. This is also in my shop. This color, I really like it. It, it disguises itself in many ways. It's just a nice neutral. I have some white in there left and that color. Right? I wouldn't either. Except those going in aren't always coming out now. I think I'm going to tie it with the with the pink. So I pull out my wire I mean, most of you have seen me do this before I put a little glue here and then we fold it onto itself like that and we put another line of glue And then we fold it over this way. There. And then I tie it so you don't see the tinsel tie. And what I glue do, which let me redo that because it didn't straddle it the way I wanted it to. All right, what I usually do is put a tinsel tie on one side and one on the other. Then I put a little glue in here and I tie it tight. Sometimes it's hard to grip. 
Okay, and then uh, I'll tie it first, and then I'll stick the glue in there so I don't burn myself. my pliers again. All right, let's move this. And let's get this down in here. I think right here is good. Now, the one up here gets this tie. So I'm actually going to take this out and put it up where I left that blank space for the ribbon. Because I'm going to put my ribbon down here now. The sue on. Are you on, girlfriend? You could share this to Lori's page if you're on. I'd really appreciate it. All right, now we're going to do, I'm going to dovetail all the ends of my ribbon. Man, this ribbon is so nice and stiff. some of my tails. There's the sign. Where'd it go? Okay, let me retrieve my sign. And let's put 
this where I left the hole for the ribbing. Thank you, Dawn. Welcome. All right. We got to fix her. She's she's getting buried there. All right, that's what we have so far. And then I think we'll get this over here. Just checking to see where I can uh, hook it onto something. This corner I can hook here. So let's do that. can go down in there and then this one can go over here and I think I'm going to try something different I'm actually going to take some of her hair ribbon And I'm going to tie a bow here, but I'm going to leave. Now I'm not liking that color with it. So let's try the red. Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm going to take the red. And I'm actually going to tie it to the tinsel tie. I just don't like seeing the holes all the time and I don't like sticking something big on there all the time. So I'm actually just twisting it to the ties, the tinsel tie. And then I'm just gonna tie a little bow up here just to give it a little character. Because we got red bows in her, or I mean pink bows in her hair. See, I like that. Just a little touch of elegance. Aw, thanks. I got stuff to add. So, but see what I'm doing? Okay, I'm going here to the tinsel tie, and I'm just tying this to the tinsel tie to keep it in place, bending it down, and then using that as my anchor to hold the sign. It's decorative, it's pretty, it gives it a nice presentation, and I'm not seeing the hole. Didn't do such a good job on that bow. I think I'm gonna knot it. So then that stays put. So all I'm doing is just tying a little bow on here. Just something different. All right. I'm gonna have to go back and redo this. Put it up to the top to inner frame. Um, it's it's cascading down too far. I want it up higher. So it has more presence and fullness. I had it accidentally on the bottom two rings and I don't want it there. I want it more up in the wreath itself. Hey Johnny, how you feeling girl? I hope you're doing good. All right, we got that in there. Now, as I said, the blockhead will also come with some little hearts. So, I have some roses here. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that hole set up together and then stick that in there. Just a little something different, just to give it a little pop 
and pull some of those colors out of the sign was the whole reason for doing it. So, I'm actually liking the pink roses better than the red roses. So, let's redo this. I'm going to keep this Pitberry. I'm going to keep this Lily of the Valley, I think is what that's called. And let me see. So you have some green here in the sign from where the um, rose is. So I thought about actually just getting some greenery in here. That doesn't look too bad over here. So, all right. Let's just stick with that. It looks better if it's on the red with the pink ribbon. And we can get that in here. Now, I glittered this, but to me it's a little too much. So now it's on my floor, on my shoes. <laughs> So I think I'm going to stick that in there and stick this little in there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to add any of this fern. I kind of like that. It kind of turns it down a little. All right. So. I'm just going to attach the little lilies and I'm going to trim this because I don't want all that much. I just want a little greenery sticking up. See, I'm, I'm just making my own little pick right now. And then we will add this in here. Okay. Actually glued my hand to the thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, just something a little different. Okay? Now you can buy hearts and such, but I just wanted a little pop of that color in there, and I just wanted it to be different, because you actually have a couple of hearts in the sign. There's some candles, but I'm liking this. I like it. I like it so much, I'm going to glue it. And you know me, I don't glue it. I always wait till I turn the camera off and then I go back and regroup and add and subtract and ouch found that glue I don't think it needs that but I want to bring that out front so with the blockhead you'll get three of these there can you see that one right here gonna have one we actually have the same patties in the can um, where is it I'm not through with his hat yet but he matches the sign and I have the sign in brown and I also have it in gray but we can do a blockhead leprechaun Sure can. I got, in my shop, I got the Blockhead Snowmen and I have the Blockhead Gingerbread Men. So, all right. So with working this out, I have space here for another grouping like that. So we're going to do another one over here, but a smaller one here. I have a smaller rose. 
for up top there. Okay. These were ones I made last year and I just thought I'm my roses haven't come in, my ribbon hasn't come in. There's a lot of things I'm waiting on. So it's kind of like, okay, go back through your inventory and let's do it. So I want to glue this to the back here because I want that greenery in there. And then I'm going to glue a little bit of fern to the back of that. Just to give it some more presence on the wreath. This and this. All right. So, let's glue this first. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Susan. It's in my Etsy shop, which I can post at the end. I can add a, the link. I haven't added her yet. That is my job tonight um, to add all my new signs. I first had to create them, and then now I have to add them. Now, do we want that there in front of her, or do we want it up here? What do you think? There or up here? Watch your flavor. Yeah, I just finished creating the signs and running them. Um, this one I made today. This is my newest one. Welcome. I'm trying to get it out of the light for you. There you go. Oh, it's hitting the ring light. All right, honey, thank you. Have a good new year. All right. I think what we'll do, let's put our small red rose up here. Let's go ahead and add some fern and this foliage. Oh, don't break on me now. There we go. And let's go ahead and add I'm not liking these little styrofoam thingies. So we're cutting those off. And let's add some little white flowers in there, just as an extra pop. There we go. Get rid of that. Add that. And add this. I need to take some more off. There. I'm liking that right there. And I'm going to add that little pink Pipbury Laban. this down with my scissors. Actually, I don't think I'm going to add that. I think we're just going to add this to it. Now, I want a third little rose in here. I work in odd numbers. And so that third 
it's just going to be a nice touch. And then I'm just going to add that right there. Actually, more to the side. Actually, I'm not liking this one, so we're going to chop it off. Looks too fake. And that needs to go right in there. So... There we go. And that's going to go right there. And just look at it and make sure that's where I want it to be. I think I am going to add that to the front. I like that. A little touch of pink. Yes, we are, girlfriend. Get this year to the curb. Let's get it out of here. I'm going to put that jetting off this side. There we go. And... I think I'm going to put that here, but I think I'm going to shift her up a little. I think that's what the problem is. So, we'll be good after we get that on there. That's much better. I'm going to get this right in here. And let's get this out invisible and then we'll get that in there but first I want to twist it up some get her up here. Yes. And then I may just go back and add a few pearls. And then I'm done. This little girl is one of a kind, so if you're looking for a unique um, wreath attachment, oh, we got to add our little our little heart to this arrangement here. right in there. Right there. There we go. I don't know. I'll see what I can do with that. I don't know. I think we're good. 
just go back and take care of my tinsel ties and fix my ribbon tails. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I think we're done. There we go. She's all fixed. <laughs> oh, the pit berries. Okay, I had to think for a minute. Maybe she needs like something up on her head. I don't know. Yeah, I think we just let her go. All right. Aw, thanks, miss. I think she's good. I think we captured everything out of the sign that I was attempting to, so I think she's good. Aw, thanks, Nanny Dot. Sorry, I didn't see you were on. You could even add, you know, some red hearts, you know. But I'm going to leave her just like that. I may go in and just put some pink roses too. I don't know. I'll see. I have to stand back and look at it for a little bit. Thank you. And thank you for the suggestion on the, the beige. I really like that. Pip berries, Yvonne. Pip berries. P I P. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, I got to glue this down and then I'm done. All right, y'all have a safe and happy, healthy New Year's. All right, good night and thanks for joining me. Bye bye.